here is the uh, the one span of the bridge with the cross bracing in place. It looks not bad, not perfect. And as you can see, that's where I cut it out from. <clears throat> I had traced in the shape between the two vertical uh, columns or struts and then cut it out. Uh, it nearly cut my the top of my finger off. So safety is of the essence when it comes to here. And I was, <clears throat> I was telling you about the importance of having uh, sharp uh, razors. Well, yeah, they really are sharp. And I think there's some of my DNA on there now. As you can see, there, there are actually two here glued together. And I think that's an appropriate size uh, for the cross bracing. So one more to do for this side and then I'll go on to the other. Here are the two span girders or trusses, whatever you want to describe them as, uh, for the bridge. As you can see, I've got the cross bracing in both these central bays and didn't think it was necessary to try and put something in here because <clears throat> if I put one in, it would look like that. And structurally, I don't think that would work. So I'd rather leave it as you see it here. And I think that would look quite realistic. So as you can see, uh, the bracing is made up of two pieces of two millimeter uh, mat card. And I found it difficult trying to get them both the exact same size. So they're not perfect. Um, <clears throat> I sanded them down a little bit, but it, I'm not a rivet counter and nobody's going to be looking that carefully at it anyway. Uh, it's functional uh, and it's designed correctly and it, aesthetically it looks quite good. So now I have to think about painting it. And what I'm thinking of is using this colour here. It's a light blue acrylic. And, you know, I do remember seeing uh, some bridges, structural bridges, uh, painted this type of colour, maybe a, a bit paler. And then what I would do is I would go in with a, a black wash, at all these joints, and then wipe it off and that will give it uh, a weathered effect. So I think that's my next step. Uh, it's ready to go. I'll get the one done, finish it, uh, and then I'll show you how it turned out. Um, I might, uh, through part of the process, show you the weathering. Um, but I think I'll do a little bit more experimentation using the paint itself to see how it looks on this mat card. And as you can see here, that's how I cut out uh, the bracing. Uh, nearly cut the top of my finger off in the process so once again safety is of the essence when you're doing this type of work. So we'll go ahead with the painting. 